round one, we have the choice we'll play first. I see a Cloudfin Raptor. Yeah, we're going to keep this, although I admit we don't have a great follow-up to it. But still, we get a turn one Raptor. We have some lands and tricks and such, so it seems acceptable. Could pay three mana for a 1-1 one, one flying, but that also seems a little bit underwhelming. Most of the creatures in my deck evolve this raptor. I'm going to go on a limb and say every other one besides the raptor. Foundry Street Denizen. All right, guess we've got a plan. Oh, he's going for the Madcap race. All right, well. I think at this point I'm going to play this Swimmer then. Although, well, let's see what we draw. Ooh, never mind. Slant, change of plans. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit more difficult to race because the turn two Madcap is pretty good. But we, we also have double rapid hybridization. We could draw. We're going to be able to block it fairly soon. Potential to race it, although I will admit it's, it's going to be difficult. Cracking back for five. Ooh. I'd like to play that too. I don't think we can afford to, though. No, let's make him play a white creature so we can tap down the. Yeah, alright. I guess technically I could play a swimmer here, get another flyer. Let's see, if I do that, it evolves this. Uh, no, but then I, yeah, let's just play a denizen, that makes more sense. So we'll get in for five. Frontline medic. It's Pretty good, pretty good, no doubt. All right, well, the man has us on a clock. What can I do? I can play Nimbus Swimmer for two, leave up the burst of strength. It's probably my best move. So I play Nimbus Swimmer for two, I don't get to evolve, I get in for five, or I could pump. I'm going to be using Burst of Strength too, no doubt. So I could pump this. I think we just need to survive a turn, I feel like, and we can win this. Depends if he has Blood Rush, depends if he has Burn, if he has Mugging, we're in trouble. All sorts of factors to worry about. All right, we could also do the swimmer for three, and then I can get in for seven, or something like that. Could also try the keep back game. I feel like we're better off racing though. But if he has act, we're pretty much dead. Uh, I don't know. This is tough. All right, I think I actually pump the. I think I actually pump the Raptor. I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Let me think. If I pump Denizen, I can successfully block the frontline medic, but I can't attack for that extra damage this turn. 
Um, either way, I guess I can't get in for lethal. If I swing for 5 this turn, I'll be at 9, which means next turn I could only deal 7. So yeah, the extra point this turn would mean less lethal next turn, but that's only if my Nimbus Swimmer was guaranteed not to die on blocks, which it might be. Um, I hate this. I hate this decision making. hate it. I'm going to pump the Raptor. I'm going to get in for... I'm going to have three blockers on defense with the burst of strength. I think I probably burst the Raptor, block the Medic, Denizen blocks the Denizen. It's tough. Maybe I want to double block the Denizen. That might not be the worst. Oh, it's indestructible. Yeah, it is the worst. It just saves me damage. Pit fight. Hopefully that's the best he's got, because if it is, I can get out of this situation. I think. Yeah, I'm going to burst the raptor and then block here. No, well, no, that doesn't give me lethal on the backswing. Let me think, I'm at six? Ugh. 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 Disgusting. I want to burst two creatures right now so bad. I have to burst this so it untaps, so I can block this, and then I have to chump this probably die next turn because I'm a damage short from killing him. Oh my god, that's so frustrating. That is horrible. I have no choice, do I? I think I have to do it like this. I wasted three minutes already thinking about it. Terrible. Really terrible. Terrible. So, somehow I need to evolve my 4-5. Uh, adaptive Snapjaw. Rapid Hybridization. Um, nope, Nemesis Swimmer doesn't do it. Doesn't. Have to double block, which means everything. Wow. Wow, that's frustrating. Alright. Um, I put him to 1 and I lose exactly how it goes down. Would have won if he didn't have the pit fight and didn't fight the ivy lane. Yep. Wow. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Alright. Only in magic, folks. Only in magic. I guess I could bring this guy in. He's going to block better. I feel like I have plenty of ways to win from above, so I probably want a better blocker that evolves stuff. Even though I have good blockers already. I just didn't see him. Maybe I want the totally lost so I can deal with Madcap. Although it's probably not necessary. I have enough ways already. 
All right, let's just try it again with the anemones this time. Like first. Um, I'm gonna lose with this hand, aren't I? On the play, no blue source. Two drop, four drop. Expensive, expensive. Yeah, I'm all. All right. Well, technically, you're gonna lose this hand if I don't see a green source, but I think it's a keep, nonetheless. Unfortunately, I was hoping for a little bit more proactive, a little bit more proactive hand. I really don't want to lose to Denizen Madcap again, but if it happens, it happens. Green. Oh, sigh. Please, green deck, please. I'm begging you, deck, please give me a green mana. Please. Alright, well, alright, it's it's almost 100% game over at this point. I'm not quite sure how I can bring this one back, folks. Honestly, Boros is our best match, too, which makes this that much more painful. Because we really are supposed to just slaughter Boros, honestly. Simic slaughters, slaughters Boros. Croconura, you have the best defenders. You've got, ugh. Alright, well, lost. Can't do anything about it. Had a great deck, too, I think. I mean, I, I think that deck was actually really powerful. Had just some of the best creatures you can ask for in Simic. Was one damage away from beating him game one. Wow. Unbelievable. Alright, well that's all I got.